Okay, let's kind of figure out this nice little math problem here. And the problem is the following. A number minus three-fifths is nine. What is the number? So that is the question. A number minus three-fifths is nine. What is the number? If you know how to answer this question correctly, or even if you don't uh, know how to answer correctly, go ahead and at least attempt it and put your answer into the comment section. And then, of course, we're going to walk through the solution step by step. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And if you need help learning math, well, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. All right, so really what we're talking about here, this type of problem, is kind of basically we're translating a verbal phrase, and we're going to translate it into an algebraic phrase. Now, this particular problem is uh, so, you know, it is kind of basic enough where you could kind of just use some common sense or reason through it, but this is a, a very, very basic version of more sophisticated type of problems you're going to do that you will need to use algebra to solve. But again, the topic here is translating. We're going to translate a verbal sentence or uh, or phrase into an algebraic or variable sentence uh, or equation and then solve that equation. So let's go ahead and uh, take a look at how we can do that. So a number minus three fifths is nine. So in mathematics or algebra, a number is what? Well, we don't know what a number is. It's just some number, right? So this is where you want to use a variable. That number could be X, right? X could represent a number, Y, Z, A. These are just um, variables. A variable represents a number. So in algebra, when we use a variable, we're just representing a number. So a number, let's call that number, let's call our number X. So we're just going to go through and just translate uh, uh, word by word this verbal uh, phrase into an algebraic equation. So a number, okay, again, we're going to put X minus, well, that's pretty easy. That means the minus sign. We're talking about subtraction here. So a number minus what? Three fifths. Well, we'll put three fifths. So we got a number, some number minus three fifths is anytime you see the word is that means equal. Okay. Or equal to. So a number minus three fifths is, or is equal to. So we'll put the equal, uh, sign there. Uh, is equal to what? Nine is nine. So we put a nine there. So now we translated this verbal uh, phrase or sentence into a variable uh, phrase or sentence or equation, an algebraic equation. So we have X minus three fifths is equal to nine. So this is really what we're talking about right here. X minus three fifths is equal to nine. And so this really comes down to uh, the remainder of this problem, your ability to solve basic equation. So to solve for X, I have X minus three fifths is equal to nine. All I need to do is add three fifths uh, to both sides of the equation. Okay. So I want to really get X by itself. If I add, let's just do a real simple example. If I have X minus two is equal to seven. Well, what number minus two is equal to seven? That of course, that number would be nine, right? So to get X by X is equal to what? by itself on one side of the equation, this is the solution. So I have X minus two. I don't want X minus two. I want X is equal to, so I kind of get rid of this negative two. Well, I can just add a two here. Okay. So that X minus two plus two becomes uh, zero. So, or X by itself, but whatever you do on one side of the uh, equation in algebra, you got to do equally to the other side. So X minus two is equal to seven. We have to add two to both sides of the equation. Now we have X is equal to seven plus two or uh, minus two plus two is zero. So really you have X plus zero. We don't need to uh, write that zero. We're just going to leave that as X and then seven plus two is nine. Okay. So anytime you're working with fractions or if you get a little bit confused on, Hey, am I doing the right steps? Try to reference a simple, easy prom and just to kind of check yourself like, no, no, I'm doing this correctly. I'm, you know, I got the right idea. So here, what we're going to do is we're going to add three fifths to both sides of the equation. And what do we have here? So negative three, uh, negative three fifths plus three fifths is zero. So that's X. You're going to add down in a column manner. And then nine plus three fifths is what? Nine and three fifths. All right. That's what that means. Nine plus 
uh, 3 fifths is the same thing as 9 plus 3 fifths, which is the same thing as 9 and 3 fifths, that mixed number fraction. And no need to turn this into a uh, improper fraction. In other words, you don't have to go 9 times 5 is 45 plus 3 is uh, uh, 48, 48 fifths, right, if I did that correctly. This is, never do this, never volunteer, okay, to go from here to here. Or unless you're told to do that by your teacher. Well, if you have a mixed number fraction, leave things uh, as they are, okay, if you're working in mixed numbers. And the same thing holds true. If you have an improper fraction as your answer, don't volunteer to turn that into a mixed number. Just fully simplify and reduce that answer. But anyways, you can see how we used algebra to figure out this question. So I hope this video helped you out. And if that's the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. Now, if you need additional help in algebra, check out these courses right here. So pre-algebra is uh, for those of you that are studying basic algebra. But uh, if you are further along in mathematics, then you may want to check out my Algebra 1 or Algebra 2 courses. Now, my Math Skills Rebuilder course is a review course. I cover basic math, algebra, and geometry in this course. I'm going to leave links to all these courses in the description of this video. All right, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.